SPI. What's up everyone, it is I, SPI, and I'm back on the SPI Ninjago channel to do a new series which I call Weekly Updates to Students of Spin Jitsu. I might shorten the name there. This is something that I'm going to be starting in this year, 2021, and I'm going to be trying to do this every Monday. The date might change, and I'm basically going to get into what I'm doing for my stop motion series, Students of Spin Jitsu, which you can find on my main channel, SPI Studios. And please check and see if you are subscribed to my main channel, and if you're not, uh, consider going to this link, which will be up here, and subscribing to my main channel, SPI Studios. On there, I post a stop motion series, which is a sequel series to the show Ninjako. It takes place 30 years after the show and follows the next generation of ninja as they deal with new threats um, in the land. So, in this series, I'm going to break down some mocks that I'm building, uh, just my setup in general. I'm going to go behind the scenes with my voice acting and just kind of give you guys an update on what the progress is for the next episode. Let's get into it. Okay, here's the first mock I have to show you guys. This is my Ninjago City mock, and as you can see, I have all of these LEGO Creator um, smaller modular buildings set up kind of in the style of just a normal city road. I have uh, a kind of three-way intersection going on here, a street sign. I'm just going to go through all the different buildings, what they are. So this one is a LEGO store. Uh, pretty much all these are sets that you can still buy. Uh, this one, I can't remember the name of this one, I'll probably put it on the screen. This one over here is actually a set that I built from my own parts. So it's this set, which is on the screen right now, but I built it from my own parts. So I didn't have to spend 200 bucks on it because it's a rare set to buy. And there's this set right here. Uh, a few of these I actually got for Christmas because I uh, told my family that I was building a big city setup. There's the corner cafe right there, and there's the toy shop. And I have a few of the vehicles in the season here. There's the Destiny Shadow. And this is the mercenary airship. This is what the antagonists this season use. And the door right here opens and slides open, and you can see a bit of the inside there. You can't really see. There's not really much inside. But this cockpit part actually detaches. So ironclad is flying the thing right now this can come off too and I'm just gonna put that back on there so yeah this is the mercenary airship and this is heavily inspired by the razor crest from the Mandalorian show uh, as well as the Ronin Rex from Ninjago I kinda combine the designs as you can see this kinda looks like the front of the Ronin Rex but the back here kinda looks like the razor crest from uh, the Star Wars Mandalorian show. So it's heavily inspired from both of those and the product is the mercenary airship that Merc and his mercenaries fly in Students of Spinjitzu. And I also have two stop motion lamps. I have this one which just goes on the desk and then the other one um, actually is one that you put on the floor and it's good for, they're both really good for videos as well as stop motion, so like I use this one whenever I'm filming with the green screen or just normal videos. And let's move on to this mock right here which is on top of my dresser and it has the Sea of Sand combined, it's kind of uh, going into the Forest of Tranquility here, so I just combined a desert model with a forest model here. I've done a few desert models and a few several forest models and students of Spijitsu before, so I thought it'd be cool uh, just to combine the two. I'll be using this in certain shots in the season. Yeah, I used a lot of different kinds of green pieces this time. And I tried to vary up the color in the models. For example, you see uh, brown pieces here, but also green. And it's good to kind of have slopes and make sure the terrain isn't just flat because it's more realistic if it kind of goes up like this, so placing bricks on it as well. These are actually just blue base plates um, or just random colors for the most part, but I put a bunch of flat tiles on there and bricks and kind of made it slope up to make it look more realistic. So if you have it at minifigure level right there, you can kind of see what it looks like. 
And here's something that I do to help me build. I sort uh, a lot of my Lego pieces. So as you can see, I have, these are the transparent pieces. These are like forest pieces, and I have uh, dark orange, dark red. Uh, a lot of the miscellaneous pieces in here. And this is mainly dark blue and orange. And if we move on over here to the left, I actually recently got another dresser, uh, which is pretty nice, uh, thanks to my friend, the Burning Baca, aka John. And it has, inside of the drawers, I have Lego pieces of different colors as well. So as you can see, there's brown, green, and mini figure pieces in that one. And right here I have another model. This is Borg Industries, which has the opening door there and it reveals the crystal right there. If you haven't seen the 23rd episode of Students of Spinjitsu or any of the episodes of Students of Spinjitsu, I recommend it because that's the episode uh, when, when uh, I first used this model. So currently my progress of the next episode of Students of Spinjitsu is I have filming almost done. I just have one little scene at the end to wrap up and I've already voiced all of the characters in the episode except for Rocco, Flame, and Zapper. So I'm going to be doing their voices today. Uh, I'm going to show you guys a preview of some of the lines and next week's episode I'll probably do like Crossbones or Sensei Brown. So stay tuned if you want to see what it's like when I'm voicing a villain or a different character. Let's get into it. And the first thing I do is I pretty much get into character. I usually try to um, imitate them introducing themselves or just quoting a line that they've done before. So for Rocco, I usually do like... My name's Rocco. Rocco Sirocco. Or, Sir, Sir, are you okay? Which he did in the first episode. We faced the ultra weapon before. We can stop it again. Yes, yes, what power will it have? Okay, this one is like, he's grunting. But he's like in a lot of pain because it's a serious impact. So, drop this on my hand. What happens? I'm not actually gonna do that, but like, I'm just gonna pretend to like. Ah! Hopefully that worked. This is the natural instinct. I just brought it forth. Okay. Let's see how he does against some Earth. Remember, as Sensei Brown taught us. My next upload for my main channel, SPS Studios, will be the 24th episode of Students of Spinjitzu. The series is on its third season right now, so if you haven't watched it before, uh, I highly recommend going and checking out that link down below. Also, I published a book called Rise of the Grey Ninja... This is a pillow. I published a book called Rise of the Grey Ninja... That's right. It's about a teenager named Zach Rylar who is trained by his grandfather to become a ninja and defend his hometown against a gang that is taking it over. Should I post these uploads weekly? Let me know down in the comments. And lastly, uh, the most important thing that I can leave you guys with here is um, something called the Gospel. Uh, Romans 10.9 says that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So all of us sin and all of us mess up and we all need a savior. And the cool thing is that the God who created the universe wants to be in a relationship with you. And if you simply believe in his son Jesus, that he died and rose again, and accept him as your Lord and Savior, you will be saved. So I urge you today to simply believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead and to declare with your mouth that he is Lord. Thank you for watching.